I, like, I try not to be pedantic with those things because one thing we do have is your, your photos and your check-in. And I, I gauge by that. And the other reason I don't like being super strict with the calories is because most people eat the same foods, especially once they're working with a coach and they're really serious. And it's hard to meal prep and you just get into patterns. You make your egg whites and oatmeal for breakfast. You have, you know, this meal, this. And so you eat the same foods. You, you, most people end up like cycling through about four proteins, four carbohydrates, and two fats, you know, and that's it. So you're eating the same things every day. So we have, so basically we have the diet and the diet is whatever that calorie count is, I know it's within the sphere of cal total calories because you're eating the same things every day. If we're not growing, if I add a little cal add a few calories, and even if you're measuring wrong, even if like you're not you're like like all these like worry about being so precise, if this wasn't working, a little bit more will work. And that's that it's like it, it's really uh and I, I'm partially to blame because I've got like ten thousand videos on the internet like going overly detailed with the science and stuff. But that's like one of the worst things coaches do is try to get overly scientific with it because it's really simple. It's like, you know, like if, if you're trying to add size, we're going to spend the next four months teaching your body to eat the, the most chicken and rice as possible without getting fat. And then you, all you have to do is go and try to get stronger in the gym. And if you do that and, and in four months we're eating a thousand calories a day more chicken and rice and you're the same body fat, the only thing that could have happened is that we added a bunch of muscle mass.